All right, now let's try to see what the, the, the database is. I'd say database is just a storage for information. Just a storage of information in a nicely organized way. As we see here, we can filter our information by entities. Also, we can make queries. For example, here you can see how, how information is being selected. We want to select, select everything from students entities with a little bit of limit and a little bit of offset. Doesn't matter much at this point of time. Also, we can do aggregations. Also, we can re retrieve our information. So basic, basically, this is a definition. The database is a place where we store data. So we are able to push it there, to retrieve it from there, to do some aggregations. Also, it can be located locally at your computer. It can be located remotely at some others at someone else's computer. And uh, right now, I'll give you an example. How do we create database? How do we check how many databases we have on the computer and stuff like that? So first of all, mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. Exit. Yes. So first of all, I'm connecting to my local database. You're gonna have a little bit different command because you're not gonna use user root, you're gonna use hack your future user or with your specific password, but it doesn't matter much at this point or that. So I'm connecting to the my to MySQL because we are using MySQL for sake of demonstration here at this lesson. And uh, here I am as a server. I have no idea what kind of databases here, here are. I can do something like this. Mm, show databases. Here I see all the databases available in my server. As uh, recently we spoke about uh, using different clients. Here I'm using command line interface. Here I'm using a web interface. Oh, not web interface. Graphic uh, user interface. But still, if you see, I have the same databases here and there. Because we are connected to the same server. Let's try to create a database. I want you to repeat after me, so you can run query by query with me. That's how you can practice a little bit. Later on, we're going to use this database for other classes. All right. Here we see query OK, one row affected, and it took less than less than this amount of seconds. Not gonna pronounce it in English. <laughs> All right, we created database. How do we make uh, how do we make sure we created them? We can run show databases again, and here we see our com our company database. Good. Uh, then to proceed to retrieve some information or to put some information to the database, we need to do something like this, use company, which say here at the server, we have multiple databases. And with this statement use, we are saying, all right, now we want to be specific about the database, which we are going to use, use company. All right, database changed, good. How do we know? If we really really change database oh database right and here it shows us 
current database. Very useful. So now I want you to do a little bit of exercise. Try to call your mom and explain her in very simple words what is client-server information system and how does it involve database. You have to do it in very simple words in order for your mom to understand you. Take your time. I'll be right back in three seconds. Pause the video, do that. All right, I'm back. So, as the essence of this video, we want to remember the database is client server information system which allows you allows you to store data, to retrieve data, to do some other operations on data like aggregation, modification of data, um, deletion of data, all these kind of things it allows you to do. This is what you might want to remember. See you soon.